Sammy Adams, new artist, joins me right now via Skype. Uh, Into the Wild is his free album. It's available actually for a free download. The track blow up. We're going to feature a little uh, later with the daily download. Sammy, thanks for joining me. How was Conan, man? It was good, man. Uh, it was fun. You know, TV TV's a different environment um, than a lot of the live shows we do. Uh, but it was great. We were, we were really excited uh, um, about how it went. The band crushed it. Uh, we trended worldwide after, so we, we were all pretty stoked. What do you got going on uh, down in the MIA? Just uh, recording and stuff, um, working on the album, you know. Do you have a, you have a title for the uh, album or no? Um, it's sort of, it's up in the air. We got a couple ideas, but um, nothing. Still sort of working title at this point. How complete is the album? It's very complete. Um, <laughs> Give me a percentage. <laughs> it's probably, probably like 90, 90% done. Oh, wow. Okay. So we're, we're look. I mean, obviously you're looking to release it this year, but probably first half of this year, you think? Yeah, for sure. It'll probably be like late March, early April. Uh, okay, very cool. Good good stuff. Sammy Adams right now joining me here on the Ralphie Radio Show via Skype from Miami. By way of Boston, of course, though, uh, the track Blow Up we're featuring later for the Daily Download. Sammy, please tell me and anybody else who is curious, what does a kid have to do to blow up? You got to find your identity as an artist. Um, you know, it really comes down to finding out who you are, what kind of music you want to make. Because, um, uh, you know, these days it's it's... A lot of stuff's changed, and you, you got to um, be able to build your fan base and really stay true to yourself, or else, you know, you're, you're remembered for a song or, you know, for something you coin instead of who you are as an artist. Um, so it's really just about getting, you know, who you are down and then really nailing down what kind of music you want to make. Obviously, you're on a major label. Were you afraid, Sammy, of falling into that trap? No, not at all. <clears throat> um, the reason we signed with a major is because... Uh, I know who I am as an artist. Um, I know Swag. I know what kind of music um, I want to make and I'm going to make. Uh, and it's a lot different from, you know, any other person in the industry. Uh, there's not really, you know, a white pop star or singer slash rapper slash hybrid, whatever, that really has, you know, footing like Katy Perry and Britney Spears and, you know... Um, the female pop artist you say uh white pop uh male singer slash rapper i, I one person that did come to mind is actually one of your label mates mike posner are you getting compared to him at all or now yeah i mean i i love mikey uh he's a friend of mine um always will be I, I like love his music um yeah we get compared it's uh it's still a little bit different um you know because it's it's uh, not exact. I mean, we are both making pop music, but he's a little bit more R and B, um, even a little more urban, um, <clears throat> especially some of his new records. Um, but yeah, we get compared. Mikey, Mikey's a great dude, super talented kid. Um, we got nothing but love for him over here in the Sammy camp. Now, you know, like Mikey, uh, you were recording in your dorm room at one time. I know you uh, you started out actually in uh, Geneva, New York. I, I went to Syracuse University, so I, I, I know Geneva. I know uh, Gym Class Heroes started there, of course, as well. That's whatever I, I think of whenever I'm driving through Geneva. Right. And then you transferred to Trinity. Did you end up getting your degree or now? Nope. I'm a dropout, bro. No, wait, how many years? You spent four years in college, though, correct? Because I know you were playing soccer while you were there. Yeah, I spent about like three, three and a half. Oh, um, okay. once, once I started touring, um, my plan to get my work in yeah, right. <laughs> Went out the door. Are, are the parents on you for it or any, any family or relatives on you for it or no? No, not really. I mean, they certainly would be if I wasn't, you know, doing what I'm doing. Did you ever feel at all that maybe the cards were stacked against you a little bit trying to be taken as a legit pop and maybe hip hop artist with that urban slant, but coming out of New England? Yeah, um, the album was really... The first album we did was, I mean, I, it was just a an experience, you know. Um, I was a college kid traveling around the country, playing shows, um, making music that, you know, I wanted to hear music that most college kids can relate to. And, um, <clears throat> you know, it was it was a really positive experience, you know. Um, you, you, make, uh, you make music and people critique it and, you know, you get way more out of a critique, a critique than you do out of a compliment. So it's like, you know, um, you know, I'm really proud of everything we've done. It's really just the beginning. Um, 
and it, there's there's a lot of things that you know people don't know about the music industry and how things work and what it you know really takes to to become a priority at somewhere like a major label. Sammy Adams joining me on the Ralphie Radio Show via Skype. Sammy, I appreciate the time again, man. Have fun down in Miami and good luck uh, wrapping up this album. No doubt, Ralphie. Take care, bro. <laughs>